going through a little bit. Okay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our God is awesome. Our God is worthy. Father, you're awesome. You're merciful. You're thoughtful. You are worthy. You are more than enough. There is none like you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. <laughs> Spirit bearer, praise God. Bless you. You're going to touch and agree with me tonight. God put a thought on my heart and I had to get on and share it. I knew I'd be talking to somebody, praise God. So whether they come now or whether they come later, God is speaking. There's something he put on my heart to say and I want to do that. And since you are on, bless God, uh, we're going to let it rip. And so we're looking at Genesis 1 and 2. And then we want to read Romans 4, 17. Genesis 1 and 2 says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And let's read verse 3 also. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Romans 4, 17. As it is written, I have made thee the father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Praise God. And so we just bless our God because, Father, we thank you that you're up to something good. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. I believe that you have something that you want to release. And it may not be to everybody, but Lord God, I believe it is to somebody. And so we bless you, Father. Praise God. And the Lord gave us a thought. Um, what to do when? What to do when? And the when is, what do you do when you don't have enough? What do you do when you're world is void and barren what do you do when you don't see the fruit that you want to see what do you do when the ground is so empty it looks like it is incapable of producing a harvest what do you do when it seems like nothing is working for you you don't have anyone to turn to. You don't have anyone to borrow from. There's nobody that can help you. What do you do when everything seems to be bankrupt all around you? Everywhere you look, there's a need in the land. What do you do when it seems like uh, even um, the government is not on your side? What do you do when everything is just empty, it's just total chaos, a storm here, a flood there, trouble over there. Uh, what do you do when you can't get a job? What do you do when you have no resources in the bank and you have no family that you can borrow from? What do you do when everything seems to have fallen apart? God put this uh scenario before us because he was speaking to somebody not to give up hope because the God that we serve is alive and well praise God he is the God of hope and I just sense God coming to stir up hope somebody's been waiting a long time but your help is here. I sense God has a word for you. What do you do when you've been suffering for years and years and years and everything still looks the same? You're not God in the head. Everything somebody points out, well, it'll always be like this. Our case is hopeless. Uh, 
We'll always be on the back burner. We'll always be on the wrong side of the track. What do you do when everybody has ruled you out and people stand off in the distance and they're feeling a bit sorry for you? but not reaching forth a hand to help you. But God chose us in the beginning, in the book of Genesis, when the earth, the very earth was void, when there was nothing working. God showed us what he did. He shows us the power of a planted seed. He shows us in simplicity. And I love God's ways because he makes some things so plain. When we think about our own sales and we think about, uh, bless God, how did we get here? It took a seed in order to get us here. God is encouraging somebody's heart. Don't be discouraged. When we look at and we see the supernatural power of God, that, that literally it took a seed in the earth, in our mother's earth, in order to birth uh, otherwise, we would not have been here. What do you do when you're empty? God gets a seed. In this case, God shows us in the beginning that the seed is the word of the Lord because God began to speak. In Romans 4, 17, he tells us, even in the life, praise God, of Abraham, he tells us, uh, uh, what to do. What do you do when they rule you out? They say you won't have a ministry. They say it's too late for you. Or they say that you are too old to get the job accomplished. They say that time's out for you. You should have did this years ago if you were going to do it. What do you do when even the doctors say it's too late? What are you going to do, Abraham, Sarah? What are you going to do? Uh, but God... But God, somebody said, but God, but God had a seed. God knew what he would do. The word, the very word that come up out of the mouth of God. And he shows us in a simple, uh, uh, a way that's so plain when he speaks about us. He speaks about our parents. How did we get here? Uh, how did we get here? Our mother was bankrupt. She couldn't produce a seed. She had an egg, but she couldn't produce a seed. So God has a seed planted in this earth of ours. So don't worry out there because I sense God is saying, this is just the time when you don't have anything. This is the time that I want you to begin to look at your word. I want you to begin up, get the mind of God and begin to speak forth. God shows us in the beginning what he wanted. He had an order to what he wanted. Somebody might need a job first. Somebody just might need some strength, some courage, some food on the table. Your rent paid first. God began to speak and he said, let there be light. In other words, he had to put a seed into the atmosphere of the soil. He had to speak out. God says, I love you so much that I won't leave you lacking. I love you so much. I don't want you to ever think there's no hope because as long as the God of hope is alive and who knows if God has brought you to the kingdom for such a time as this that you can go forth and share that you, when you didn't have anything, when the government wasn't on your side, when your neighbors didn't have it to give you, everybody was in the same shape that you were in, God came by and told you to start speaking the word, to start calling those things that be not as though they were, that this is the season, that this is a fruitful time, like springtime in the spirit realm. It's a time to plant those seeds, to begin to call those things that be not as though they were. In the springtime, a farmer will plant seeds because he knows that the atmosphere is just right for planting. Uh, uh, the ground is right for planting. Uh, it's the perfect time of year for planting. Uh, and God is saying in the kingdom of God, it's the perfect time uh, of the year, of the season for you to begin to speak out, uh, for you to begin to accelerate time, to open your mouth and begin to declare the word of the Lord, begin 
begin to call those things that be not as though they were. Whatever it is that you are in need of, I sense the Lord saying, go back to the book of Genesis and see how he laid that thing out, how he began to declare, let there be. That word let is a declarative word. He began to declare God is so mindful of you that he stopped us this evening, told us to come on so that you would know that you didn't have to live in a bankrupt world, that you would know that you are a supernatural being and even, praise God, before you got to this earth, that it literally was God that created you in the womb, praise God. He shows us what one is able to produce with the seed, praise God. He shows us in Genesis what one is able to do when he speaks out a seed. He spoke out the word, let there be light. And there was light. And perhaps maybe the first thing you might declare, let there be light. Let there be understanding. Let there be comprehension. Let there be wisdom. How I'm going to do this thing. And declare that the light of God has come. In the name of Jesus, declare that the wisdom of God has come. In the name of Jesus, declare that the word of God has come. In the name of Jesus, I sense God saying that he will not allow you to be bankrupt any longer. But as you speak, he's going to watch over his word as you declare his word in harmony with the scriptures in harmony with his desire for your life. He's going to watch over that word. He's going to perform that word with signs following. He sent us here just for you to tell you, I don't know if you stay in America. I don't know if you're in another country. Praise God. But God is saying, Call it in. Call in the building material. Call in the resources. Call in the help. Call in the needs. Call them in. Call people into righteous living. Call in righteous leaders. Call in your help. Praise God. God is mindful of you. We are here before this camera because God is mindful of you and wants you to know that you don't have to stay in a bankrupt condition. All you need is a word. All you need to do is speak it forth in this season. Begin to proclaim it in this season. God is going to do some acceleration in your behalf. Praise God. Since we're talking to somebody May not be to everybody, but to somebody, praise God, that God has you on his heart. And to remember in the beginning when there was nothing, nothing in the refrigerator, nothing in the bank account, nothing in the neighbor's house that he could borrow, no job to be found. No light in the situation. Every day was a dark, dreary day. But then one day in your life, the Spirit of God began to move on a woman's heart to come online and begin to sow some seeds in your garden, telling you that things are shifting now. Things are turning around now. God is doing a new thing now. He's mindful of you. He's omnipresent present right there where you are, no matter what part of the world that you're in, God is there and he's mindful and he's a supernatural God. He wants you to come on the other side, begin to operate. That was a side to you before you were formed in your mother's womb. That was a place for you were. God told Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. You just didn't arrive here, but you were in the heart of God, in the plan of God, in the foreknowledge of God, ordained by God to come through this earth. Praise God. So you be encouraged, bless God, and know that God has a plan. Praise God. For your life, bless God. 
Hi, Pam. Praise God. Amen. The Lord is mindful of you, Pam. And you are a mighty woman of God. And you begin to declare the word of the Lord. I just sense, praise God, as you declare the word of the Lord. God is just going to help you out something big time, praise God. And as you begin to share your heart with the Lord. And make sure you tune in because he has something to say to you in this season, bless God. Amen. You tune in and remember the word that he's spoken to you. And take that word and meditate on that word and think about that word and, and declare that word. Because that's the seed. And God desires that that word bear fruit, praise God. Amen. Bless you, LV. praise God. And uh, we're going to be uh, doing our fellowship on a Friday evening, LV, just in case you can make it, praise God. Uh, so uh, I pray that I see you. If we don't, we know that we'll see you on the next time around, uh, some of these times around, praise God. But I'm excited. So let us pray. Father, we just thank you, God, and praise you, Father God, for our viewers. And, oh, God, we thank and praise you, Father God, for your power, your glory, your majesty, your love, your wonder, your help, your anointing, your breath, your spirit, oh, Father God, your plan, your purpose, your will, your way, your word, God. We thank you for the reign of heaven and that the heavens are open over our lives, Lord. And we just pray a fresh wind and a fresh fire be upon, Lord God, our viewers, oh, Father God, and those that were Will come later, Lord God. We pray, God, that you just shift us, Lord, to a new place. We declare and decree, God, that you are shifting us and turning us, even, oh Father God, as we pray, even, oh Father God, as we set to move from this place uh, to our various places, oh Father. We bless you, oh Father God, for the increase. We bless you, Father God for the help, for the manifestation, even encouraging our hearts to call those things that be not as though they were. We bless you, Father, for showing us how that you can make something out of nothing in the power of the planet seed when we speak it out into the soil of the atmosphere, Father God. Wonderful things begin to happen and grow and manifest in our earth. So, God, we give you glory and we give you praise, oh, Father. God, and we just thank you and praise you for having your way, Lord, in our lives and in the lives of those, oh, Father God, that this word is sent to God. We thank and praise you for clarity for them, Lord. We thank and praise you for activation, Father God, that they would activate the word of the Lord, that they would begin to declare your word, oh, Father God, declare the promises of God, that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want, that our God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Declare the word that David spoke. I was young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Declare the word of the Lord that our God is a very present help in the time of trouble. You know, so do seed, so do seed. If God be for you, who can be against you? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Things that are impossible with me and they are possible with God. Yeah, they said it wouldn't be done. Yeah, they said it was no use, but things that are impossible with me and they are possible with God. You call those things that be not as though they were. Abraham and Sarah can witness to the fact that our God can manifest something out of nothing. Our God is the resurrection and the life. And God is resurrecting your life and your dreams in this season. And it is possible that you speak that word. You sow those seeds and don't you let up. And you praise God as you go forth, praise God, and allow God to be glorified and magnified. And give God his glory because he's going to get glory from your story. God bless you. Have a great evening. I am out of here. God bless. Bye-bye. And if anybody else was on, I couldn't see you, but God bless you. <laughs> Amen.